Hey there, I've been using pet tape as my 3D printer view surface for a while now, so I want to talk about the experience I have with pet tape. PDT is considered maintenance free build surface, kind of. Um, the properties of PD tape is very similar to Kapton tape, but I find that adhesion on PD tape is better and uh, is more durable compared to Kapton tape. You will need a heater bed to get the prints to stick. I think that there is a lot of hazel to prepare your bed every single time you want to print something. Uh, well, guess what? PD tape doesn't require much bed preparation. Basically, you just clean the build surface with isopropyl uh, alcohol before every clean to, uh, to remove any contaminants that left behind from previous clean, uh, providing a great way to streamline your uh, printing process. But remember, do not clean the uh, build surface with acetone because uh, cleaning it with acetone will degrade the PD tape, uh, making it unusable. PET tape can last for a long long time if you are being very careful with it. Uh, if you do not sketch the surface or damage it. But it's quite tricky to avoid damaging it, <laughs> to be frank. Luckily, uh, we are applying a, a neat fresh sheet of uh, PET tape is very easy. Uh, usually, it will take about 3 minutes or 3 to 5 minutes if you are experienced. And peel off the old layer easily without uh, leaving any residue behind. One more thing before I talk about the work test on PET tape um, is that you will get very shiny, smooth finish on the bottom of the print. I think most of us will like it a lot. Prior to this video, I did not actually test how well the PET tape can hold on to the print. So for the purpose of this video, I have downloaded a warping test model designed by TT Sailor of Thingiverse, link at description below. Basically, the model is designed to have um, minimum contact with the build surface. Do warps. Uh, if you measure at what height the warps, uh, the warpings occur, and then we will compare the other models that printed with uh, other materials. The higher the value, the better the build surface is able to uh, hold onto the print. I have printed this model in PRA, ABS, and PETG. All of these models are printed in 30% in field, 3 parameters. Uh, for PRA, this is printed at 65 degrees Celsius bed temperature. PRA does stick to PET tape, however, it's not. However, it is not as good as I have expected. It start warping about 6mm. Uh, Moving on to pad G, I have printed this model at 75 degrees Celsius with temperature. It starts to warp at about 6 to 7mm. Interestingly, it, it did not curl upward. Instead, it <laughs> curled to the side. Disappointingly, I was hoping PETG can perform better since uh, the build surface and the filament is basically the same material. Moving on to the last material I've tested, ABS. Um, this is printed at 115 degrees Celsius bed temperature. Uh, ABS performed extremely well uh, to a point that I'm really surprised since uh, my printer is not really enclosed. It's a totally open frame printer. Uh, pad tape is able to grip on the print really well that the model finish printed with almost unnoticeable warping. There are slightly warp at the very very corner, very edge of the corner, but it's really nothing uh, noticeable unless you go you unless you are looking for it. As a conclusion for this video, I think pet tape is pretty good as a build surface as long as you take good care of it and have a hidden bed. Before I go, here is the footage for the installation of PET tape. Thanks for watching. See you on the next.